All right, guys, it is 8.15 in the morning. We would have been here a lot sooner, but first I slept in. He stayed up all night. Fulton's in the back of the boat. Slept in accidentally, got up at 6.30. Fulton was outside my house, kind of weird. Um, taking a nap, plus I had to shower. I needed a shower. Yeah, then the trolling motor fell off the boat while I was driving here. When that happened, it dislocated one of the cables, so the trolling motor wasn't working. Bubba fixed it, thankfully. Yeah, and now we're here. Two hours later. Uh. First cast with the shaky head. Yeah, but he's stuck up on that wood. Ah, he hopped over it for me. Thanks, fella. Ah, looks like we're going over there, Charlie. I don't want to break this filler off. Okay. There we go, there we go. I don't need, yeah, yeah, he keep. Well, today's hypotenuse is, or hypothesis, I don't know, I'm not a science major, is ringing true so far. He inhaled that too. Plasma tail. Well, it's not a huge one, but it's a little uh, one pounder that I keep in, uh, in a tournament. So, caught him off a uh, one sixteenth ounce shaky head with a with a biospawn plasma tail on there. Uh, what was it? The shaky head was the Berkeley uh, shaky head. Yeah, it has a flat bottom, so it stands up a little bit better. So yeah, not the best one. And he, well, he's got a little Florida strain. There we go, that's what we need. <laughs> My bad. You gotta save the dream shots and the plasma tails. What were you throwing? Uh, the finest worm. The finest of finesse. Zoom finest worm. I got some of those in my bag right now. I'm throwing a, well, not watermelon, but a smoky gray or something like that. Oh, uh, I got watermelon. Cool. Sniper eye over the tree with a jig. I'm not getting this jig. <gasps> I got it back. I had plenty of time to react to that. I don't know why I just stood there and watched it fly at me. Yeah, there it goes. this time there we go we going in that was a catfish <laughs> that's a keeper too boom what do you think he's at all right you want to call it even at a pound and a half all right we'll meet in the middle pound and a quarter It's a good one. But there was a cold snap last night after 80 degree weather.
temperature dropped like, what do you say the water temperature dropped? Like five, six degrees? Yeah, well, 72 dropped down to 65. 72 down to 65. The bass are probably in a pretty bad mood today. But look at that alligator. That's a good sized alligator. Twelve. Nice one. You want to give him a kiss for me? Oh, there's a big old carp. You see him? Like, just to the right of my lure. Oh, he's underneath my lure now. Suck it up, Kirby. Yep. Full bag. Well, uh, it's not a full. Yeah. Now we're one away from a full bag because the other one was small. Oh yeah, this guy's got some fat on him. I'm, I'm cheesed. In the arms of the angel. So right now we'd be at the halfway point of the tournament. And our bag's over halfway full, so. I'm gonna be happy if we can put, pull in a full bag, because I feel like that's gonna be easy top three finish. I used to catch them all. Yeah. Ooh. Still feels good to get a bass on, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's a tournament keeper. We're still stuck with three in the boat. This is probably one of the toughest practice days, though, coming off that this weather. They just found Charlie's boat, so we are going to get him back to the boat, and I'm going to call it a day. It was a decent practice. Uh, if we would have stuck in there and actually set the hooks better, we would have had a full bag. That's kind of my, my bad. So we're feeling good about the tournament, and uh. I guess I will see you guys tomorrow with the next practice, hopefully. No way I work tomorrow, don't I? We'll see you guys soon with the next practice update. Yeah.